It's a pressing issue that needs to be controlled sooner rather than later. The longer the reactors aren't cooled, the bigger the risk of a core meltdown, and that's a concern for us. The jet stream, or flow of air, as it is right now, could well carry radioactive fallout as far as BC. We tend to see weather systems coming up and over via sort of the Aleutian panhandle or down through Hawaii and up and in. The worst case is the Chernobyl scenario with explosions destroying the reactors and sending a deadly plume of radioactivity into the atmosphere. And the dose of the radiation depends on many factors. Depends on the type of the radiation, depends on the distance from the source, depends on the time of the expo exposure. The valves to release pressure from the reactors have to be operated by hand. Japanese officials are considering rotating workers more often to limit their exposure to the radioactivity. They also say filters will remove radioactive substances before the air is released. The cooling system had to be fixed within 20